Hey guys, Christine here and welcome to Blooming Brilliant. Today I'm taking a part in a Hispanic Heritage Month collab hosted by Tatiana from Tati's um, Place, a large family favor, and Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. Both um, channels are super great and amazing and you really should check them out. So I have their links in the description box below as well as a playlist to all the other videos just like mine with the amazing content creators who would like to share a little bit about Hispanic Heritage Month. So Hispanic Heritage Month, if you didn't know, takes place from September 15th to October 15th and we celebrate our Hispanic heritage. Now, when I got these 10 questions, I looked them over and immediately and I was like oh I so want to do this because as you know as a subscriber to our channel you have seen us share for Hispanic Heritage Month lots of fun kid lit and stuff like that so I love learning and sharing and um, teaching about Hispanic Heritage but I found myself in a little predicament where I was reading these questions and I kind of didn't feel Hispanic enough. And I don't know if any of you have ever felt like that. I come from um, an Italian-American mom and a, uh Ecuadorian father. I was raised by my mother. So I don't have that um, as much, I guess, Hispanic culture as maybe the next person because I wasn't raised buy it but I do have some um, traditions and culture that I um, am trying to share with my children so let's get started that was just like a little history and um, yeah so let's get started okay so question number one is do you speak Spanish in the home now I don't speak fluent Spanish and it's something my father always wanted me to learn as a child but I never wanted to. I never did it because I really wasn't around them that much. So I didn't see it as being necessary. And I was just stubborn, which now I could see where my kids get it from. But I am actually learning Spanish with my kids. Um, do you use any curriculum that is written in Spanish is question number two. And that's where it was like headed. Um, we use Rosetta Stone to learn how to speak and write and read in Spanish and it's really great we love it um, we also read bilingual books so picture books that are bilingual um, are really great but that's pretty much um, the meat and potatoes of any kind of Spanish curriculum in our home school question number three what holidays or Hispanic traditions do you observe now this one kind of stumped me because I don't really celebrate Hispanic Hispanic holidays or tr or have like necessarily Hispanic traditions because I was raised by my mom but what I would say is we always had like really big Christmas Eves and that was with my father he would come over and the whole family would come and it was always a big um, party and so anyway number four is what is your Hispanic country of origin now um, my father um, came here to America um, from Ecuador when he was about nine years old so that is what I am I am half Ecuadorian from Ecuador um, number five what are some of the things you will do in your homeschool to observe Hispanic Heritage Month so every year for Hispanic Heritage Month we study um, books that are about Hispanic culture about Hispanic people that have done amazing things and we'll link a um, roundup of all the books that we have shared um, in the description box below. Okay, okay, so number six. Can you briefly share three most influential people from your culture? They could be artists, poets, authors, actors, writers, etc. Now this is really hard because there are so many amazing Hispanic um, and influential people in our culture. And I, it was hard for me to choose just three. Uh, 
Sonia Sotomayor was a huge person that um, is so influential because she's not only she's a woman and she's Latina and she has accomplished so much and she was just um, amazing reading about her and learning about her and that if you don't know is the Supreme Court Justice and I believe when I was pregnant with Isabella uh, she was actually signed in so she's like somebody I don't know I feel a connection there um poets I love um Pablo Neruda he's an amazing poet um I told you artist Frida Kahlo Pablo Picasso um actors Rita Moreno amazing there's so many influential people and I could go on and on but for the sake of your viewing pleasure I will try to keep it short and okay so Number seven, share three books that you will use to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with your children. Okay, so I said I will uh, post a roundup of all the um, books we have used over the years. This year we concentrated on one book, and that was um, an, a book that you could actually see Isabella's review on. She posted about it. It is Esperanza Rising by Pam um, Munoz Ryan and it was so good. It's about a young girl named Esperanza. She lived in Mexico. She had, um, her family had a ranch. She, you know, was wealthy. She had a great life there and it was like magical and then all of a sudden tragedy happened and then it seemed like tragedy after tragedy was occurring to her and it led her to have to, um, moved to America. She had to move to California and she had to work really, really hard to, you know, just survive. And her life like t did a total turnaround and it was such a heartwarming and, and, um, I think Isabella said it really tug on your heartstrings kind of book. I mean, I was reading it with her. Like I would do like a read aloud with her, like read portions of it and she would read. And I was actually crying while reading it because it was such a moving book um and she talks about how she learned so much from like the proverbs that they used in the book and it was really great and we also used we got it um it was for part of our curriculum it was part of the arrow so we had like a little guide that we um did that's a brave writer brave writer has um this uh I guess curriculum that they they came up with and they have like little reading guides with the books that they choose and it was amazing so I highly recommend that and I'll post a I'll put some information in the description box if you want to check out the book and if you want to check out about the arrow because I really love it and we've read a few books now with the arrow and it's so good Okay, so my next question is share at least three prominent dishes your Hispanic culture is known for the most and which one is your favorite now my Hispanic culture I would guess is right Ecuadorian and I'm not sure what our signature dishes are I know when I was with um, that side of my family what I would eat and what I loved and I really really want to get back to more I love Hispanic food but I don't know how to really make it because I wasn't, I know how to make Italian food because I was raised by my mama. And so, um, I would love to learn. So if you have any recipes, I could sh totally try them out and maybe I could even film them and you can like laugh your butt off while I try to make these dishes. So yeah, so my three dishes or things that I like to eat that's from, I guess, my Hispanic culture is, um, my grandma used to make this rice with like olives and stuff it was like some spanish rice she that's that's all i knew or i used to call it and i loved that so much it had olives it was like a yellowy rice and she would make it with meat and it was so good so i don't know the name sorry um another thing was like fried plantains i love that so much but i always like we joke because as i got older was that i mixed I used to make them and then like put mozzarella on it and let it melt and eat it like that. And I said it was like because I'm Spanish and Italian that it was like a little mix that I liked. And my last 
favorite oh it's paella i love paella and that's something that my dad used to bring over for christmas he used to bring a big pan of paella and i loved it it was so good and yeah so those are my three absolutely favorite dishes can't make them myself don't know how i mean plantains yes i do know how to make platanos but i don't know how to make anything else really and except for like tacos maybe and things like that but that's not real like authentic anyway yeah that's my spanish food um uh share your favorite hispanic folktale i am not sure what my favorite hispanic folktale is so i'm sorry i'm not i don't i don't know i don't remember hearing any so i don't know i'm sorry Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, have any recipes, put them in the comment section below so I can try them out. And if I get the courage to actually film while I'm making them, you can enjoy that craziness. Um, yeah. And if you have any other comments or books that you think I would love or anything or any thoughts on my crazy um issues with my hispanic culture i guess let me know in the comments below and if you like this video of course give it a thumbs up and as always subscribe and share because this is blooming brilliant where you grow smart and don't forget to check out all the other amazing videos on this playlist all right see you next time